Hey, what's up, young folks? Welcome back here at Storytime with Rev out here Sunday night, out here Ebenezer Way, chilling on the stoop. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm excited for the book that we're going to read on tonight. The book is by Grace Byers, and it is called I Am Enough. I believe that this book is important for us during these times that we are going through to understand that you are enough, that the way God, well, we'll get to that at the end of the book. Y'all ready to get into the book? Storytime with Rev. Let's get into it. I Am Enough by Grace Byers. Like the sun, I am here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Like the bird, I'm here to fly and soar high over everything. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the mountains, I'm here to stand. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. Like the champ, I'm here to fight. Like the heart, I'm here to love. Like the ladder, I'm here to climb. And like the air, to rise above. Like the wind, I'm here to push. Like the rope, I'm here to pull. Like the rain, I'm here to pour and drip and fall until I'm full. Like the moon, I'm here to dream. Like the student, I'm here to learn. Like the water, here to swell. Like the fire, here to burn. Like the winner, I'm here to win. And if I don't, I'll get up again. I know that I may sometimes cry, but even then, I'm here to try. I'm not meant to be like you. You're not meant to be like me. Sometimes we get along and sometimes we will disagree. I know that we don't look the same, our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame. But that does not di dictate our worth. We have places here on this earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love and not fear. To help each other win is tough. To stay together, I am enough. Young folks, this is an interesting book by Grace Byers that just simply says, I am enough. And what I want you to understand that as we read this book, God is believing to encourage each and every one of us to let you know that you are enough. That even though we're out here on the stoop posted and chilling, young folks, I want you to know that yes, you are enough. That in spite of everything that we're going through as a nation, with the looting, with the protesting, with the, the inexplainable murders that we're watching, I want you to know, young folks, that the way God created and molded you, you are enough. That everything God put in you is enough to fulfill the purpose that God has created and ordained for you to live. And so just like the book said, that when you fall, God will pick you up. That you're here to shine bright like the sun. That you're here like the moon to dream at night that you are here to be victorious. But the thing that I love about the book was that the book says something towards the end, that the book and this reader, the book said, I'm not like you, I'm not shaped like you, I don't look like you, but in spite of our differences, I want you to understand that we may have different skin color, our eyes may not be the same, our hair might not, might not be the same, the frame of our body is not the same, but in spite of it, God created all of us and that our differences do not dictate our worth, that the anointing and the greatness that's within you, it was ordained and orchestrated by God over 2,020 years ago. And I want you to know that never allow anyone to speak negatively or down on you because of the color of your skin. Just because someone is in a position of power does not give them the permission to try to authoritate you and try to tell you how to live your life. But you understand you are enough and God has ordained and God has called you to be whoever God wants you to be. Don't try to be a carbon copy of somebody else. But remember, God created you to be an original because you are enough. I know you may not understand what's going on in this nation. I may know you may not understand why things are happening. I know you may not understand why God is allowing things to happen. But in the end, I want you to know that we as a people, we are enough to make a change. We are enough to change the fabric of this nation. We are enough 
And even when they said we were not enough, even when they said we were inferior and beneath and under, and even when they try to belittle us, we know we serve a God who sits high and looks low and has the world in the palm of his hand and has all power and is in control. And we are enough because you are a child of the Most High God. Never allow anybody to change your perspective on life. But remember, I am enough. In spite of my differences and shortcomings, I am enough. You are enough. And when you know that you are enough, you will change this world. Walk in your anointing. Walk in your greatness. Why? Because you are enough. I'll see you next Sunday right here on Ebenezer Way Storytime with Red. Now get ready for our prayer call in a couple of minutes. You're about to see the information going to pop up right here on the stoop. 7, 8.30 p.m. tonight, prayer call. I pray you have an amazing week. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Take care and God bless. Peace.